Okay, so I've got a couple of the short ramps, the top ramps. Uh, got them set up for gluing, so I put some glue on, spread it with the putty knife. Uh, okay, so these are three of the locations. I'm going to put a fourth one up here in the ramp. So I'm doing the big drill to start with, just to drill a little hole for where the head's going to go in. These are going to go in at like a 45 degree angle. So I'm drilling a big hole just to just to get them started. Then I'm going to use this smaller drill, which is going to match a little smaller than the thickness of that, make it a bit easier. Drill at 45 as far as it will go, and that will help start the tapping process. Right, so that's one. I've got to do the other one, so I want to avoid this knot, so I've got to do the other one right there. Drilling. And I'm going to do that on all of the holes, and it will help get the thread started. So I'm going to put bit WD-40 on these. Get her in the holes and just run them in. WD 40 on. Ramped on there nicely. Start in the hole. You can see the angle I'm going to drill all of these. They're all fairly close to each other. I should be able to just run this down. Right. It's in. Just do that with the rest of them. Yep, and when I've got it drilled, I can take these clamps off. So the screws are going to hold it. The glue, you know, ideally takes about 24 hours to set. WD. Alright, so now they're screwed together. I notice I've got a bit of a lump, it's a local lump just here that I think I'll probably correct. Uh, get the old surf form out, see if I can fix that. Use my straight edge just to confirm later as I'm working on it. And how much of a gap I've got and how much needs to go. Well, the other two ramps fit together fairly nicely, but I noticed on this one, Got a lump somewhere. So I'm going to use my straight edge to find out where that lump is. Could be right where that knot is. Compare it to my straight edge. Could well be that. This one's got a bit of a. Yeah, this one's got a bit of a bow as well. I think I want to take that down. All right. So using the straight edge. Uh, rocking it over, there seem to be a couple of high spots, one here, and there's one in this area. It didn't take much uh, shaving to uh, get it off, probably 30 seconds in each spot. And it's pretty flat, I can't get the straight edge to rock anymore, so that's going to be close enough. Okay, pretty much the same on this piece. Uh, it was high over the knot and a little bit this way. And it just took a few strokes. Right, ready for gluing. Don't worry, I'm not covering it all. So I'll use my little monkey crowley thing here to spread it. I'll do. Line up, match marks, line up. Clamp on. Be able to clamp this in place. I need to glue this side up. Okay. 
rocket science. Got the end lined up. This way because I'm right handed. And this one, because of the slope, I need to put a lot of piece on here. Sandwich it. This clamp. Okay, so I'm putting four screws in here. So I can get them in. Still gluing and setting up four more screws on the outboard side. And I've checked them off against the ones I put on the inside so they shouldn't hit each other. Having a bit of difficulty thinking about how I can glue the second piece, and I've decided that these two um, little spaces down here that I just cut out of some 2x4s are going to support the other one the last remaining ramp piece and I can use those to lift it into the right position which is going to do close enough and then I can clamp the heck out of it I've got the clamps ready on the other side uh, so I'm going to glue support on those clamp then I'll start screwing it you might be wondering why I'm going to all the trouble of using uh, deck screws and well this is Arizona wood dries out here so I could you just use big old nails in here but guess what happens to nails when the wood dries out they fall out so the deck screws stay in forever so far on all the stuff I've done with wood screws they do not come out uh, the wood's gonna fail first not the nail falling out okay this uh, piece of plywood 4 by 2 foot I'm gonna cut it right down the middle and I'm actually gonna use my drill saw very handy uh, saw attachment on this uh, Black & Decker Matrix. It's just deep enough to cut this 3 quarter inch ply and this 3 quarter inch ply is going to be the main ramp up on the ramps which I've got set over here gluing and drying and screwed. So a couple of sets of those. It's quite heavy. I might have to put wheels on them. So I've got it set. Got the offset cranked in. Um, needs to be 27 millimeters for that particular guide. And most importantly, I've made sure that it's not going to cut my workmate in half. And I've got the left side clamped, so it shouldn't move. So this is the uh, piece of plywood centered up on the ramp. I've got it up on. We saw horses just to make it a lot easier to work on. Um, I've gone down and put center punch holes where I want to put all the screws. And I'm going to pre-drill this half because I'm going to get some glue on there so time is going to be a little short for working. It's supposed to get eight minutes. Uh, the other nice thing about this is of course it's Home Depot wood so it's warped so I'm going to have to drill the center and screw that bit down first and then put the rest of the screws in there. It should work. I'm going to use this um, set square and I've got it set out so it, it should give me about an equal amount each side. I can just set it like that, do it at the top and the bottom and put the screw down here right in the middle. That will be the first screw I'm putting in. I'm using these two inch screws. Did 
focusing. the bow out, the bow is now gone. Alright, all I've got to do is put the rest of the screws in. And so this is the panel I'm going to stick on the end. It's got that three quarter inch ridge so I can put the other piece of plywood in. Be gluing it, drilling and screwing. So I'll drill a few holes just so I can get get them started and then I'm going to put a whole bunch of screws in. This is going to be my shear web. Stop it tipping, twisting. And there it is. Got the gap. Just glued, screwed. And now we come to the last piece, which will be this piece here. So another spare piece of plywood I've had laying around for ages. I'm going to use it to fill in the gap here. I've already cut it to length, it's about right. Yeah, close enough is good enough. It does rock in the middle a bit though. So I notice there is a slight misalignment of the wood right along there. So I'll just take that down a little just to make it smoothish. And then uh, glue and screw this one on. Obviously, I've got to avoid the screws in the middle when I put this on. So that's the top plate on. Just one more thing to do, which is put a 2x4 on the end to stop me from rolling off when I'm driving the car up there. And then it will be done. With no 2x4s uh, laying around, I ended up making a wheel stop out of these three bits of plywood. I'm going to do the same on the other stop there shortly. Uh, glued. I've got long screws down through it. These are four inch long. Boy, those are hard to get in. Rounded off another bit on one of those. Uh, and that's with lubrication and everything. So, right on the end there, two and a half inches from the end. I should put the wheel about seven inches in, which is about here, from that stop. So it should be a really good location for the wheel. I checked it out and the car that's right over there, just by placing the uh, plywood in front of the front wheel and measuring in front of the wheel and measuring to the center. So that's what that does. And that should be it. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to coat it or not, but these are going to be ramps. They are kind of heavy. Um, so one modification I'm thinking of making, if I can find any spare wheels loafing around is put wheels on the bottom to make it easier to lug around. <laughs>